uh, at the Africa leaders, U.S. Africa Leaders Summit in December, uh, President Biden emphasized the importance that the U.S. attaches to a partnership with Africa to unlock the enormous potential on the continent. Um, and one component of that is the digital economy. Uh, we've learned around the world that digital connectivity unleashes extraordinary economic potential, uh, not just for big companies, but for small farmers, uh, for small businesses. And uh, through a new initiative, uh, Digital Transformation in Africa initiative, uh, the U.S. government is seeking to partner with uh, African countries, the private sector, uh, and uh, small businesses to try to expand connectivity in Africa uh, and expand the use of digital tools uh, to unleash this economic potential. Before we delve more into the DTI itself, why choose to support Africa? Well, I think that a number of different reasons. Uh, U.S. has strong connections to Africa through diaspora that are in the United States. Um, Africa has, uh, you know, historically had problems of food insecurity, uh, had, continues to, to face, have the need for economic development. And so the U.S. wants to be a partner in, uh, in unlocking some of that potential to raise living standards, to provide more economic opportunity, uh, to strengthen food security. And the digital transformation can be a part of uh, realizing all of these objectives. Now, to go back to, I guess, infrastructure, the development of Africa, um, those are some of the challenges that the continent is facing. And of course, the U.S. is investing in that. Uh, could you tell us more about how that would improve the continent's fintech sector? Sure. Well, to connect, basically, lots of economic activity depends upon connections. So traditional act economic activity, connections through roads. You need to be able to get goods to market, whether you're a farmer, manufacturer, etc. And so the, the uh, partnership that the U.S. has with Africa on physical infrastructure is intended to address that component. Um, but with the modern uh, economy, that digital connectivity and digital infrastructure is also incredibly important. And that includes the physical infrastructure of, uh, of these communication networks. And it also includes all of the different activities that sit on top of that, the software, the applications, etc. And so uh, what we're looking to do is partner with African countries not only to get that physical infrastructure uh, that's necessary for the digital economy, but also to connect entrepreneurs with one another, can connect those entrepreneurs with financing so that we can upscale uh, uh, various, uh, various important uh, financial innovations, including in the fintech sector, to benefit all Africans. Now, recently we had Vice President Kamala Harris on the continent and she highlighted how she was really uh, excited to see the innovations that are coming out of the continent and how youth are doing so many amazing things. Uh, why do you think the US government is finding it important to invest in African youth? Well, I, I have one example that, uh, that just today I met Benjamin Fernandez, uh, who uh, was a, uh, the first uh, Tanzanian to graduate from Stanford Business School. Uh, I used to teach at Stanford before coming to the State Department. Um, and Benjamin, uh, when he returned to Tanzania, uh, started a mobile payments company called Nala, uh, which has dramatically uh, increased the access that Tanzanians have to mobile payments. And he designed that application after talking to a lot of Tanzanians about the difficulties that they had with mobile money. Uh, so he came up with that idea uh, based upon his own experiences and work. Uh, he attracted funding from, uh, from American investors, uh, including Y Combinator, partnerships with, uh, with uh, companies like Google and Apple Pay in order to develop that mobile payments platform. And that's then allowing small businesses uh, to transact and itself unleashing more economic activity. And so that's why we find it important because there's a lot of potential in the existing connections that the United States has with Africa. And through a little bit of dedicated effort from the US government, we think we can uh, even uh, catalyze and promote even more of that potential and, and unlock even more of its benefits. As we wrap up here, I really want to delve a little into the DTI itself. 
um, how can young entrepreneurs in the fintech industry from the continent tap in tap into that? Well, one way is through through um, events like the fintech summit, um, and when uh, and when uh, we ha hosted the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit, we also had an innovators gathering at the State Department. Uh, the 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 what we call the convening power of the U.S. government is an opportunity to bring together these young entrepreneurs. Uh, and have them meet representatives from Google, representatives from MasterCard, who are also in, in attendance at events uh, like this today. So that's one mechanism. Another mechanism is uh, through various uh, um, programs that the U.S. government has to catalyze private investment. So our U.S. International Development Finance Corporation uh, and USAID have programs that can help encourage uh, private sector investment in small businesses. So those are a couple of the different mechanisms that we're hoping to expand through this new initiative. Um, as a wrap-up question, I'm, no, I said that was my last question. I know, for example, the U.S. government has programs like the YALI Initiative, whereby you're bringing so many different African leaders mm -hmm. together to work together to fix Africa's problems. How does the DTI help young people come together on the continent to address their own challenges. Well, all of these are, are really complementary. I mean, one of the one of the ways in which uh, the Young Africa Leaders Initiative connects is obviously digitally, um, and so digital technologies and digital connectivity is important for uh, for that initiative. Um, but it's also uh, in this through this. Uh, partnership in the digital space, exposing the various Af young African leaders to the potential for technology and connecting them to one another and to the entrepreneurs that are on the cutting edge. And so really digital, uh, you know, digital, the digital economy is rapidly moving to the center of our economy in the United States, globally, and we want to partner with Africa to make sure that uh, Africa and Africans benefit from the same thing in the years ahead. Well, thank you so much, sir. We really appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. you so much. Right. Pleasure to meet you.